Oh my god, are you kidding me? My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. And we are on another vintage toy thrift store vintage uh, another thrift store vintage toy hunt adventure and uh we're at plaza thrift this morning aka craptastic sam's and we're about to head in there and see what kind of goodies they got we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today and check this out i got me a new t-shirt yesterday from cools i got two shirts actually they're both pink you know I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, you know, I guess, uh, you know, I'm just confident in my manhood. But I got this Hawaiian punch shirt, and then I got this cool Batman shirt as well. I'll probably wear it in an upcoming video. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm feeling good today. So I think we're going to score some vintage toys. So let's head in here and see what we can get. All right. Anything in the glass case. Some of these trolls are still left over. But other than that... I don't think I'm really seeing anything. There's a couple of Nintendo games. So, wow, they went $39.39 for that. That is ridiculously high. It's not even worth that. $14.14 for the Chess Master. Yeah, and uh, Chess Master, you can buy that on eBay for $0.99. Cents. Those are way overpriced. Ridiculous. All right, let's see. Got a Daisy Duck plush. Some sort of bat mobile thing. Oh, Sentinel 1 tank. This one actually has the cannon on it. That's cool. And some sort of Jeep. Alright, well, let's go check the baggies. What's this down here? Oh, some sort of spider-man weapon all right let's see what can we rummage out of these bags today hey check it out it's our boy buzz <laughs> just a different variation of him oh these uh plastic dragon pieces are kind of cool Yeah, those are kind of neat. I don't know if they're old or anything like that. They're just kind of neat. Looks like we got some PJ Mask stuff in here. A die cast vehicle. A couple of cars, actually. Hey, what's this thing here? Super Armatron. That looks old. Six ninety six. I wonder if it actually works. Oh. Yeah. How do I get the arm to open the hands to open back up? It does swing back and forth though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is it is vintage. Um, it could be from the 80s. It didn't say whether it was 80s or 90s, but it's from Radio Shack, and it resells for about 50 bucks. I'm going to get it. It's pretty cool. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, look at that. It's a 1983 Super GoBots Zod. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, my gosh. How much they want for it oh three bucks yeah i think these i was just looking at these like not too long ago i think he sells for like 15 to 20 bucks oh that is cool this is only the second gobot i have ever found in a thrift store and the first one i found was like over two years ago so this is super sweet somebody must have gotten rid of part of their 80s collection i might have to stop back here maybe later in the day and see if any more pieces show up. Yeah, it looks like we got a little Pac-Man game over here though. I was checking to see if there was a year on the back of this. I don't think this, oh no, it's got a, it's got like a 
one of the modern charger ports there. So yeah, not uh, not anything we're gonna pick up. They want too much for that, seven bucks. If it were like a dollar ninety nine, two ninety nine, I'd probably get it. Uh, but it's kind of a neat little piece. But I've got a few of these at the house already, but not this exact one. I do not have this one. But I don't want to pay seven dollars for this either. Especially when I can pick this up on eBay right now with the cord for ten bucks. So yeah, we'll definitely pass on that. I'll check that out. It's a VHS tape of Rescue Heroes. I've never actually seen a cartoon of them, so I think I'm gonna get that. I might even send that off to my brother since it has to do with firefighting and stuff like that. Oh, what's this? Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas, designed for TVs, iPods, and iPhone. What is that? Oh, it's a Las Vegas video tour. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, as you know, on this channel, we're keeping it real. All right, I think we're gonna have to pick this up too, Spaceballs. That's an absolute classic, and I would love to watch that on my retro TV. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about is this, listen. It almost sounds like it's like all snapped into pieces. All right, I'm not gonna take the risk on that. Put that back on the shelf. All right, guys, we got our haul. We'll jump in the car and do a little show and tell, but I'm a little disappointed. The uh, the VHS of the Rescue Heroes <laughs> did not have a price on it, so she wouldn't sell it to me. I was like, well, aren't your VHS priced all the same? Like, because they're normally like $1.49. And she just kind of looked at me like she didn't understand what I was saying, which she probably didn't. <laughs> a lot of them in there don't really speak much English. A little bit, but not much. So anyway, let's do some show and tell. And the truth is I really have no reason to be disappointed because we got some epic scores. This thing is so freaking cool. I just got to learn how to work the gears a little bit. Like I can get it to move back and forward, up and down. I just had a little trouble trying to get those arms to open. I wasn't sure. It looks like, oh, it looks like I do it in a circular motion to get the arm or the the hand here to open up. So I'll have to play with that at the house and give that a go. So it looks like I can do it in a circular motion to the right to get it to open up and then a circular motion to the left to get it to close. But oh my God, this thing is so freaking awesome. You guys know me, I love robots. So I've never had a robot arm like this before. So this thing is cool. It's like something you'd see like on the space shuttle or something like that. But wow, super awesome. And then we got this 1983 Super Gobot Zod. This thing is so cool and really jazzed me up. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. Yeah, we got some GoBots jazz. Yeah, I uh, I love GoBots, guys. Like, I think they're just absolutely fantastic. 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 Matter of fact, I just ordered a Crasher on eBay. And uh, with Crasher, it's really hard to find him without all his decals kind of peeling off and stuff. But I found one that was in pristine condition and I want it in an auction. So I can't wait to show that to you guys cause he looks fantastic. So, but hey, uh, up next, let's head off to the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at the Goody Wheel, Goody Wheel Allen, Texas. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? All right, let's head in here and see if we can score some more vintage toys. We're already on a roll, man. I love it. I love it when a vintage toy hunt comes together. Whenever we're done here, we're probably going to pop into the uh, Allen Antique Mall over here and just check out a few things. We won't spend a whole lot of time in there. But also, get this. My mom found a uh, vintage NES Ghostbusters video game at her Goodwill in Pennsylvania. So she just sent me a text message and picked it up for me. So even better. What we got over here? We got a Mario plush right out the gate. That's kind of fun. All right, well, let's see if there's anything on the shelves for us. It's just like a, it's 
some sort of Batmobile. That's kind of creepy looking. <laughs> His head is so big he can't stand up. Design flaw. Looks like we got some uh, walkie talkies back here. We got a First Order Stormtrooper and Kylo Ren. Got a stealth fighter. I think the last time I was here, I saw this. I think it had the canopy on it. So some kid probably took it off. Check out that mask. Yeah, guys, I don't think I'm really finding anything here. What's this? Powerful together. Lots of puzzle and coloring sheets and some crayons. All right, we got any vintage plush over here in Plushville? Oh, here's a strawberry shortcake. Pretty sure that ain't vintage though. At least I don't think it is. Yeah, 2019. That's some more Mario stuff. All right, we got Private Benjamin with Goldie Hawn. I'm probably going to get that. I think that was a funny movie. We've got Romancing the Stone. And then I saw the Jewel of the Nile. I have both of these already, so I don't need them. But I do like the artwork on these ones a little better than the ones I have. But, uh, Dwarf, Dwarf Goes Fishing. I remember seeing these advertised on TV when I was a kid with old Tim Conway. All right, so I've decided I'm going to get Dwarf, Private Benjamin, and I'm going to go ahead and buy these, even though I have them already, just because I like these covers a lot better. They're in a lot better condition than the ones I have already, so we'll get these for VHS. Well, check it out. we got a little pack of Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels Track Builder Unlimited. Those are nice looking cars. Five bucks, though? Mm, no thanks. All right, well, we got our VHS. Now, off to the Allen Antique Mall. All right, the Allen Antique Mall. So we're gonna pop in here and just take a little look-see around, see if we can find anything. Uh, but we're not gonna spend a lot of time in here because I gotta get some grocery shopping done today. And I also still wanna hit up Thrift Giant. So let's head in here and see what we can get. All right, we got some vintage Star Wars here. I've actually been thinking about buying that little vehicle, that little pod thing right there. I don't know if I'll get it today or not, but I'm definitely thinking about it. I think it might come with that figure as well. Oh, check it out. We got a vintage Furby in the house. Oh, they only want 12 bucks for him. Seems like a okay price. And we got a Flintstones Bam Bam. got in here looks like he might have gotten some new that guy's cool looks like he might have maybe picked up some new items here that's supposed to oh that's bam bam as well I was like is that supposed to be barney <laughs> oh look at this creepy looking thing Looks like a drag queen. <laughs> oh, he's got a couple of these guys. I think this is Indiana Jones. Oh yeah, it's the Cairo Swordsman. Some Star Trek. Star Trek here. Um, Men in Black. Tommy Lee Jones. Normally he's got another bucket that you can put this stuff in as you're searching through it. Who's this? Oh, Harry Potter. Daniel Radcliffe. Oh, we got Birdie in a little car. I'll grab her. I love like old vintage Mickey D's toys.
while I'm searching through here. I'm gonna see if I can maybe come across that uh, SpongeBob karate figure from Burger King for uh, Jordan. So Jordan, I'll see if he's in here. I don't know if I'll find one or not, but oh, there's like a stencil, like a Mickey D stencil of a pig, a chicken, a duck, an apple, a horse, and an egg. I'll put that up there for now. We might pick that up too. All right, I'm not seeing anything in this box. How about over here? Oh, that's a uh, Dennis the Menace's dog. Isn't his name Ruff? All right, I'll put him up here just in case I come across a Dennis the Menace. that like a shrinky dink <laughs> some sort of school bus Snoopy playing like a pipe organ or something. Ah, it's Simon, or not Simon, uh, Theodore. I actually have this little guy already. Look at this guy. Kids meal toy. What did that go to? I wonder. It's kind of creepy looking. Like creepy cool. It's like an octopus. I'll put him up here. Got a fry guy and an aeroplane. Grimace in like a rocket. Look at this guy. Oh, he's like a knight. Kids' milk toys used to be so cool. Now they're so lame. Little movie camera. Little Mickey D's movie camera. Wonder if I. Wonder if I actually look through that hole. If it's supposed to maybe show something. guys well I don't think kind of looks like he-man <laughs> I don't think we're gonna find anything I got a few of these Mickey D toys I think I'm gonna pick up but other than that I think we're done oh that's pretty cool it's a Millennium Falcon like micro machine playset Alright, what do we got here? Looks like we got some transformers. And I actually saw this thing at Goodwill just the other day. It's like a, a dino, I forget what it's called. Dino something. <laughs> yeah, 
can see it's got like a picture of a dinosaur. Anyway, what I got here? I got a bag full of Pez, 28 bucks for the Pez dispensers. And there's a Fozzie Bear. Some Hello Kitty stuff. Phineas and Ferb. And what's this over here? Uh, looks like we got uh, some die cast and some transformers or something mixed in there. And here's a bag of some transformer stuff. And whoever that is, what's this thing here? Ah, oh, it's a uh, Pokey from Gumby, right? And he looks kind of old. 1984. 15 bucks for him. Looks like maybe a bag of modern Smurfs. Jessie, she looks vintage. It's supposed to be Marvel Transformer type things, I guess. That looks like the thing. And some Imaginex style action figures. All right, y'all. I got my haul. Let's do some show and tell. All right. First up, I finally got a Mickey D's plate. I've been looking for these in the thrift stores, but it was nice to find this at the antique mall and to get it on sale. So it was priced at $10, but it was reduced to seven. And I am super excited for this. Uh, man, it's so colorful. That's one of the things I remember as a kid. We actually had these plates as a kid. And I just remember them always being so colorful and like wanting to eat off of it, you know. So, um, made by Lexington. Made by Lexington. Hmm. So, but yeah, how cool is that? I also picked up this Barnyard Commandos wristband. I actually saw these at the Retro Expo toy show. Some guy was selling them, I think, for like five bucks a piece or ten bucks a piece. I think it was five dollars a piece or something like that. I almost got them. But uh, I was able to pick him up for a dollar today, and now it kind of makes me want to get the rest of them. I think they're pretty cool. In addition to this, I also got this DuckTales Spyglass. It's got a uh, launch pad McQuack on the side of it. I had some other Mickey D's toys, and I ended up just kind of putting them back. But I thought this one was pretty cool. I didn't have any actual like DuckTales type stuff. Well, I got some little DuckTales figures, but I don't have any type of like merchandising stuff. So I thought that was kind of neat. So I got this and then the big score of the day was this AST-5 mini rig from Star Wars. And it did come with the figure and it was on sale. So it was marked like $25 in the case and I got it for $18. And, uh, I don't know, guys. I don't think I've ever seen. Maybe you guys can help me out. But I don't think I've ever seen this version of Leia. I don't recall having this version or seeing her before. Like, is this um, is this rare? Is she a rare Leia figure? I don't know. But uh, I think she's kind of cool. And she looks really good here in the... Uh, the AST-5 mini rig, but she's got, uh, you know, she's got a little, little paint wear there on her boots, but that's okay. But yeah, I got the figure and the rig for 18 bucks. What a deal. All right, so up next, let's head on over to Thrift Giant in the Colony. We'll finish up our adventure there today, but uh, let's see what kind of goodies they got. Maybe we can score some more vintage toys. All right, gang, I know I said we were gonna go to Thrift Giant, but I had to go grocery shopping first and it's getting a little later, late in the day. It took a little longer grocery shopping than I thought, but uh, I decided to head home, but the Goodwill and Grace Bridge are right here on the way home. So we're gonna hit up the Goodwill and then hit up Grace Bridge. So here we are. What you got for me today, Goodwill? What you got for me today? This has been a good day so far. So hopefully you got, uh, you got something to put a little icing on the cake for me. Let's see what's in here. All right, let's see, what do we got? 
anything good. Some sort of little station, maybe like a train station. There's a bumblebee. But that's about it, guys. Or anything in Plushville? What's this pig? Oh, it's a little GG. <laughs> All right, what else? Maybe there's a My Pet Monster in here somewhere. Maybe not. Look at this sloth looking dude. Press my paw. Does he work? Well, I can hear him beeping. Oh, check out this bike helmet. That is badass. Like, I would love to have that as a kid. Hell, I'd love to have that as an adult. That is awesome. Hey, look what's sitting here just calling out my name. Some Popeye cartoons. All right, I'm going to grab this. And I got King Kong. Hmm, the sure thing. Old John Cusack. I don't know. I might get that too. All right. So I ended up just getting the Popeye DVD. Be fun to watch some old Popeye cartoons. I loved Popeye when I was a kid. You watched them all the time. Let's head across the street to Grace Bridge and see if we can score one final item from there today. Maybe something vintage. We'll check out their VHS too. But uh, since their toy section is usually pretty weak, but you never know. It's always worth checking. Right, what do we got here? A Minecraft pencil box. Some sort of Disney Swiss Army knife. And it looks like a whole lot of nothing else. Nothing in the toy section here. What's this? Oh, nothing I'm interested in. Tabletop air hockey. Let's see what we got here. What's this thing? Cool's Cares. Oh, it's a coloring book. That's kind of cool. A coloring and activity book. Yeah, that's actually pretty neat. I don't think I'm going to get it, but I do think it's kind of cool. And I'm not really seeing any VHS there. Here's a Stripes VHS, but... I actually already have this on VHS, so we don't need that. Still Magnolias, no thank you. Elvis in Las Vegas. This is a must-have. Shop Secrets from Master Craftsman. Should be in everybody's VHS library. Big Jake, Red River, Dance With Me. Indiana Jones and the Peacocks, I have that. Young Indiana Jones. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to get busted here. All right, gang. We got busted. But that's okay because we had an epic adventure today. And we scored some really awesome stuff. So enough stuff to get me jazzed up. So, hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor. Smash the like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos. You can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.